Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a really fun personalized stationery box that you've probably seen here before. It is of course my paper box and it has been sent to me for review. In case you couldn't already guess, this has a very fun Halloween theme for the month of October. And she always sends the boxes out right at the end of the preceding month. So I've had this for a couple of weeks now, but I already love the cute little kitty with the bat wings. I'm not a huge fan of spiders, even when they're kind of cute and whimsical for Halloween. I just have a little bit of arachnophobia, maybe a lot of arachnophobia, um, but I do think that this box is going to be super duper fun. Now this is the grand subscription that she sent to me for review, and that is $38 per month, and you can get it personalized with anything, so it's a great gift to someone. It is something that's nice to have as an individual or in your office, or of course I know a lot of people get their family name, their last name, their surname written on uh, the notepads that come or the various other items that might have a name on it and I think that is a really cool idea especially because then you can sort of share all of the contents of the box which usually does include three notepads with a theme as well as some greeting cards and then some other fun desk accessories. Now she also has the mini subscription which I believe is 24 per month and that includes three notepads that has its own theme for the month so you can get both subscriptions and not have any overlap although I'm sure there's a little bit of a Halloween October fall theme for the mini uh, subscription this month. And then finally, she also has a greeting card subscription, which I believe is $20 per month for four lovely greeting cards. So let's go ahead and dive into this one. Now I do have an affiliate link for you in the description box below in case you're interested in subscribing or getting this as a gift. Affiliate link just means that I may receive a small commission if you use that link, but it's at no additional cost to you. So of course, I definitely appreciate when you guys do use those links. So this box is kind of interesting. So it just had this like fold here was taped up with the shipping label so I went ahead and scored it but I did forget to be super careful so I wound up kind of slicing the tissue paper inside which is a bit of a bummer so be careful if you get this subscription and it comes in this style of box sometimes it comes with one where the lid actually opens and then you're a little safer but inside we do have a little bundle all tissue papered up and I think I just sliced the sticker that says happy Halloween Noel so of course it's always fun to get mail with your name on it right I am lucky enough that with this channel I get a lot of mail with my name on it so inside we do have the little mini magazine that she puts together every month and what's so fun about this is she tells us about all of the holidays and observances that are celebrated in that month so I think it's usually really really fun uh, because there's a lot of things that you probably didn't know about so most of us probably know about Halloween but here is October at a glance a couple of pages in did you know that October 16th is dictionary day for example we also have uh, October 26th is Howl at the Moon, uh, day and night, of course. And we have October 29th, which is National Cat Day. So you guys know I am a crazy cat lady that doesn't even have cats, but I do love some good cat memes and cat TikToks. I will spend way too much time doing that. We also have our monthly observances. Hey, it's American Cheese Month, as well as National Pizza Month. I'm always drawn to the food celebrations because I feel like it sort of uh, gives me the allowance to celebrate by eating those delicious things. So there is a pretty lengthy letter in here this time from Samantha. I'm not actually seeing the page where sometimes she tells us about all of the items that are included. There's kind of a visual overview of all the items, so that might be our product list this time around. But you can also see that she tells us about all those bizarre and special holidays in a little bit more depth after that at a glance. We have Do Something Nice Day on October 5th. By the time you're seeing this, it's well past October 5th. We have this uh, layout calendar and then she does always include a desk calendar as well sometimes every few months we'll get a fun like desk calendar holder but this is what this one looks like oh now now we've got the kitty cat dressed up like a vampire with a cape here so it looks like this on one side and I, I have like a little slot that I like to put it in I know some people like to use a little clip on the other side we have that month at a glance in terms of all of the holidays so it is kind of a fun thing to have on your desk I like to glance at it when I need a little cheering up so yeah I think it is just 
just uh, that uh, visual overview this time. I'm not sure that I'll read the entire letter, but let's go ahead and read a little bit of it. It says, boo and holo, welcome to October. Well, between the rush of back to school in September and the major stresses that can come with the holidays starting in November, October should be our easy peasy fun month. In October, we need to pause and enjoy the last of our days before the hectic planning of the holidays and pressure of New Year's resolutions. Take time to enjoy the beauty of the changing leaves, pull out those favorite sweaters, enjoy the flavor of pumpkin in everything, meet up with friends and enjoy some Friday night football games and let your inner kid come out to enjoy Halloween with loads of candy and costume parties. One of the most known symbols of Halloween besides the jack-o'-lantern is the black cat. The unearned bad rap of black cats being spooky evil creatures that bring bad luck is just not fair to these beautiful and innocent animals, especially this time of year. We can all do our part to educate people and remind them that black cats are just like any other cat. It's time for black cats to be seen as cute and whimsical symbols of Halloween. This thought process is what inspired my paper box for the month of Halloween along with the orange and black colors of the month. So okay and then that was just like a half page so I'm gonna skip the rest of it and if I see anything in here I will let you know. Let's see, let's see. She does want to remind you uh, that you can get combos and one-of-a-kind stationery and gifts always available for order, and they can create original gifts for family, friends, teachers, mentors, bosses, administrators, healthcare workers, children, spouses, and just about anyone else you can think of, including your pets. Okay, so uh, there's a little, of course, she had to put the pets in there since we have this cat theme going on. All right, let me go ahead and just kind of turn this page, and then I'll slide everything out of our our bundle. Hopefully I don't lose anything on the floor. That's what I tend to do. So we have some positively perfect stickers, vinyl Halloween stickers, and they came in this little package. Let me see if I can... How do I open this up? I need my little... Um, I need my little... Um, what do you call that? A stapler remover. I used to have one of those in my desk, but I'm not going to like dig for it right now. So instead, I'll probably just break a nail while I try to do that. See, we've got a cute little whimsical spider hanging down there. Um, but I still don't like them, you guys. They still kind of creep me out. So let me see if I can pull this out of here without making too much of a mess so you can see all of the stickers. So it kind of goes with our theme. It says, don't cross my path. And it's a cute little kitty and she's got some some jack-o'-lanterns behind her. Uh, this one says cute but spooky. That's what we're going for for Halloween in my book. I'm not into the horror and the gore and haunted houses etc. <laughs> this one's always funny. A witch please. And then finally here is a vampire. <laughs> I think that's cute. A little bit um a little bit for the like the kitties kind of but sometimes I kind of like that whimsical cutesy kind of vibe almost like kawaii. All right so here are some of our greeting cards that we get this time around. Looks like we've got two of them. This is fun. I know some people are really into it and they'll do like Halloween trees. They'll do Halloween cards. I'm like I'm just kind of like sliding slowly into fall at this point. So of course it does come with an envelope which is nice and this one says which way to the purdy. So this is definitely not only a Halloween box but a cat lovers box. On the back it does say my paper box um, but it's a nice uh, card stock for the most part. And then we have a second one that uh, echoes that that sticker which I do think that one's funny and just says which please that's cute um, but of course you have a limited amount of time to use these cards so if you got this box right at the end of September you want to start sending those cards out pretty soon so people can enjoy them and have them up in their home in your home all right it looks like this time around we got two notepads usually we get three sometimes there's like a really small one or like a more whimsical one but this is a nice usable size this one says cute but spooky on the top and yes indeed it's got my name with the umlaut with the dots over my e which you guys know I really appreciate she does her best if you have a name with diacritics to make sure that she uses fonts that uh, allow for them every once in a while those won't be on there but they do try to choose uh, designs where it works and then this one we have uh, the kitty in all different costumes one with bat wings one with a witch's hat and one just balancing a little pumpkin on her head I don't know if it's a boy or a girl and then just has my name up there at the top um, I actually like like the notepads sometimes she'll send me the plain ones as well to take photos of and that's actually great too because you can share notepads I only live in a house with one other person so it's kind of nice for us to share notepads especially if we're gonna use them and like give them to someone else like from the desk of but um, two notepads is definitely doable 
it looks like this is kind of our like hero item this time around and it is a spiral notebook now you guys know I love a spiral notebook because you can tear out pages without ruining the binding it's nice it's got this uh, like plastic um, like almost like a thick vellum cover which makes it really fun because you can see through onto that next page so it's just the kitty on the front cover and then we have that like second secondary page which is a nice cardstock it's kind of a neon orange and then it does have uh, lined pages which echo one of the notepads so it's kind of like a notepad but it just happens to have spiral binding and then the pages don't have color but it works because it's a black cat right so that's pretty darn cute I do think that is adorable it has that same sort of vellum uh, back cover as well to make it match and then finally so not as many items this time around which I kind of like I prefer you guys know me I'm definitely more of a quality over quantity person and I want things that I'm gonna use versus just a bunch of little things Every once in a while, we'll just get like a lot of little like papers and note cards, which can be very useful. You guys know I use them in my giveaways a lot, but I like having things that are very um, usable and so I don't wind up with overstock, essentially. We got two pens. It says perfectly fantastic pens. Wow, we're really going with the Halloween uh, puns here. So there's the kitty one more time, and we got two of these little clicker pens. Now, you guys know if you've been watching my channel, these are exclusive My Paper Box Halloween pens. We've got, it says, don't cross my path, and there are some little like paws on there. It's a clicker pen. I usually like gel pens, but these are kind of adorable. They're different. Um, and this one says Vampur. So this is nice because these you could share with someone because it doesn't have my name on it. But I do think it's pretty cute that she included these. Pens are always nice to have to go along with the Halloween notebook, the notepads, the two greeting cards, and then the four stickers. That's pretty much what we got this time around. So let me go ahead and read a little bit more to you. So it says, one of my very favorite things I created this month is the journal. I enjoyed working with the bright orange coil and the cute and playful art chosen for the cover of the writing pages. The clear matte vellum protects the journal and allows the whimsical Halloween colors to be seen and enjoyed all year long. The ways of using a journal are endless. We can keep food journals, gardening journals, dream journals. We can use them for writing music, writing love notes, recording affirmations for working on more positive thought processes or for more positive attitude or keeping a spiritual journal. Whatever it is you like to do with your writing pages, whether it be for journaling or writing notes or writing lists, I'm a list maker. Let me know in the comments below if you are a list maker you'll certainly be able to find a use for it in preparation for november i'm preparing to acknowledge all that we're thankful for the brightly colored journal with the orange coil would make a great gratitude journal now the enclosed blue ink writing pens that's fun that it's a uh, blue ink although it's kind of surprising for a black cat halloween box that we got blue ink it says with original my paper box artwork goes so well with the writing tablet and together they make such an adorable combination of stationery the dilemma will be do you keep this cute set for yourself or do you gift the adorable combo to a loved one that's why it's nice that we got two because we can keep one and we can share one and of course they both have like a cat theme so I don't know which one but I will have to share one of them with a cat lover for sure um so this is actually a really fun box I'm kind of happy that there was a little bit like less than usual all the like little things that I never know what to do with exactly I'll have to write these Halloween cards though very very soon so that they arrive in time let me know in the comments below what you thought about this let me know what kind of Halloween celebration or decor you like to do are you more into like the horror movies the super scary haunted houses or do you like the kind of cutesy idea of like trick-or-treating and dressing in whimsical adorable costumes that's that's kind of me so even though I I did find this uh, the designs kind of young very appropriate also for little people um, that's kind of my vibe for Halloween I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please help me out by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing